Hi guys, so it's 9.32am uh, on a Friday morning and this is where that white dog was the other week so we're walking around here where that dog Chase me up the uh, up the path here. <laughs> so I'm just working through why I've suddenly got really depressed again. <laughs> We're going round this way. Um, just spoken to my mother. Apparently, I mean, I, I, I'm not interested in money. I'm not. But when you're isolated and depressed, your mental health obviously can go down the pan. When you don't speak to anyone, see anybody. So my mum has told me that she's not well enough to go out to the post box. And she's not very well. She's told me that Charlotte, I'm Charlotte's auntie by the way, Jennifer is Charlotte's granny. So Charlotte calls Jennifer Granny Jenny. I'm Charlotte's auntie. She was my sis, she's my sister's daughter. My sister sadly died when she was 36 of multiple sclerosis. So I've been stuck indoors, depressed for two or three days. Fortunately, I've got a dog and I have to go outside and take him for a walk. I just wanted to see how the... Um, Buildings getting on down hit this end. It's moved further down. You can see they're building right down the bottom now. Down the end there. Let's fancy the different walk. Mind that poo, Max. I've got to get strong again, fight these demons off. Fight these demons. We still can't get through this way. Through here. Place to live. It is. It's a lovely place to live.
You're fight. I don't know what I'm fighting. <laughs> Who I'm fighting. can say that I've watched roads being built from scratch. Roads! <laughs> the lamp posts. <laughs> I'm not a nasty person. I'm not an angry, violent person. I'm not. I have to fight it. Every day, fight it. Trying to mould me into somebody I'm not. I'm not this violent, aggressive person. It was my father that hit my mother. It was Derek. Making out they've got to get security on me. I mean, for goodness sake. A menopausal woman, really. Pedestrians. That part of that footway is closed. All these road signs. Pedestrians. 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 train coming out of the station. See it go this way for a change. Get up here and see it. It's just coming to the station. So you're still building flats. I've lived here four years and you're still surrounded by noise. Four years. What is that? It's being lifted down. a woman going through I didn't think you could go through there but like I said you obviously can <laughs> goes the train for cars under that tunnel but you can walk through there that looks like my dad's red starlet Toyota Toyota starlet that he had bang 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 used to make me feel ill all that I've got used to the building noise because it's moved further on down. But how people are making out I'm a violent, aggressive individual, I don't understand that. I don't understand that at all. I 
I've never met the guy upstairs, so I don't know if he's an aggressive bloke or not. I've never met him. That's what I have a conversation with. But I'm certainly not violent and aggressive. I mean, I'm just like anybody else. When you're treated like shit, you defend yourself, right? Henry Hoover, um, they had those in the women's refuge in Gloucestershire, Henry Hoover's. Um, I was in at women's refuge for six months in Gloucestershire and they made us clean the refuge with Henry Hoover's I had to clean under my bed with a red and black Henry Hoover when I was pregnant in a women's refuge uh, the extent of this person's cruelty is unbelievable getting a pregnant woman to Hoover it's more like a labour camp the women's refuge than a place to rest and escape domestic violence it was like a labour camp, a work camp, the way I was treated in there. Looks like Peter Andre, don't he? Looks a bit like Peter Andre. It's all made up bullshit.